this video I'm going to show you how to modify a Tigan Airsoft unit for use with the Open Panzer TCB. In its stock form it looks a little complicated but by the time we're done there are only going to be three wires coming from the unit. We'll have a wire going to the motor positive, the motor negative, and an extra wire going to the limit switch on the back. Now the first step is to remove this little cover Sometimes the cover is black as you can see here or other times you'll have a clear cover. Either way just unscrew it so we can get to the wires underneath. Next we're going to unsolder this short red wire that is attached to the motor positive terminal and we're not going to need this wire so you can throw it away. Now you can see there are two plugs attached to the unit. There's this three pin plug which we are actually going to use to connect the unit to the TCB. But the wires need to be in a different order, so we're going to unbraid them here. And then we're going to remove each cable from the plug using a thumbtack or some other sharp object. Only one of the wires will still be connected to the unit. That's the black wire to the motor negative terminal. The second black wire that isn't attached to anything we can throw away. But we want to keep the red wire because we're going to use it. Now there is also a two pin plug attached to the limit switch at the back of the unit. And we don't need this plug but we do need the wires. So let's remove them from the plug and you can throw this two pin plug away. Now I'm also going to untwist the two wires from the limit switch so we can deal with them individually. And This is what your unit should look like now. One wire connected to the motor negative, an extra red wire that's not attached to anything, and the two wires going to the limit switch. Now it's very important that we wire the recoil motor with the correct polarity and the positive and negative as you can see are molded onto the case of the airsoft unit. There's also you might see a small positive mark on the motor itself. Do not use that. That one is not correct. You need to reference the positive and negative marks that are shown on the case instead. Now the black wire as you can see that is still attached is attached to the motor negative terminal. So we're going to plug this into our three pin plug but before we do that let's make sure that we lift up this tab that we squashed down when we removed it otherwise it won't stay in the plug. Now this one will go on the bottom here as you can see it's important that you do this in the exact same order as I'm showing you in the video. Next we're going to take the red wire that is attached to the limit switch. Again we're going to lift up the tab a little bit and then it will go into the top position of our three pin plug. Finally we're going to take the extra red wire that we had left over from before and we're going to plug it into the middle position of our three pin plug then we will solder the other end to the motor positive terminal. But first I'm going to twist these wires up just to make it a little easier to see. So again we have this red wire coming from the three pin plug and we're going to solder it to the motor positive terminal. We might need to cut the wire, it's probably a little bit too long. Now I'm going to strip it then I'm going to tin the end. And then solder it to the motor positive terminal. Now we have our completed three pin plug. But we still have one wire left which is this black wire. And it is attached to the limit switch on the back of the unit. 
we're going to cut this wire short and then solder it to the motor negative terminal. Again, I have to strip the end, and it's always a good idea to tin it. And now, because the motor negative terminal is a little hard to reach, we're going to push the motor out a little bit using this stick. You don't need to take the motor all the way out, just push it out a little bit. And then we're going to solder this black wire to the motor negative terminal, which also has the other black wire already attached to it. So when you're done, you should see two wires attached to the motor negative terminal. One of them goes straight to the switch, and the other one goes to the three pin plug. Now we're going to push the motor back down, and then we can reattach the little cover. And that's it, we're all done. We've modified our airsoft unit. Let's test it out now, and the three pin plug will attach to the TCB in the recoil slot. It's the same plug that we would use for a mechanical recoil unit if we were using one of those. So you can only use mechanical recoil or airsoft, but not both. And of course, you want to make sure that you have the correct one selected in the opconfig setup program. Okay, now we're going to test it out. There's not much to see, but you can hear the motor turning. Now it's not usually a good idea to shoot yourself in the face, but we'll try that too. And it works. So now you know how to modify a Tigan Airsoft unit for use with the Open Panzer TCB.